Marie Antoinette would have this for sure if she got a luxury advent calendar. Hey booze, so right now I'm sitting in my office with a bunch of packages. I'm giving you guys a luxury haul for Gabmas 2023. I am healed from that shopping craze addiction era, but there's still that part of me that you're never ever gonna take away from me. Oh my God, I'm quoting Katy Perry. It's time to put on the earmuffs. So before I get into the unboxing for my luxury haul, I do wanna let you guys know that I did launch my Gabmas collection the day after Black Friday. I'm currently wearing my sugar plum robe. This is the pink one. I have a blue one that's called the Marie robe. These are the Snow Queen's earmuffs and I have my frilly leg warmers. I always thought to myself if Chanel number no. three just had earmuffs with bows on them I would be super happy this is my third collection with Christine and my most successful and it's been three days four days I do have a luxury advent calendar at the bottom and I'm gonna unbox the entire thing for you in this Gabmas vlog so without further ado let's get into this haul I wanna let you guys know that this is like a part two to my luxury haul so with that being said these are all like my online orders so in two days I'm going to New York City to pick up two custom diamond rings that I got myself for Gabmas you guys are gonna come with me this is just like the online stuff so with that being said I'm gonna unbox the first package for you this is a luxury bag there was a gift wrapping option online and as per usual I had the gift wrapping option and on top of it I had like a little letter like love you to me from me so it's from Loeffler Randall and this is like a little card where it has the receipt does it have my little letter that I wrote myself so pretty so let's unbox the first package this isn't the bag this is an accessory I bought So cute. I got the Loeffler Randall vanilla headband. This is what it looks like in the bag. I keep looking for this little letter I wrote myself. I was really looking forward to reading it. You know how those puffer headbands recently got super trendy for like get ready with me's? This is like a slightly puffer headband, but it's like thin and little. It's like not a huge one. So this wasn't the main reason why I went to the website. The main reason was because of this bag. And oh my God, it's unwrapping itself excited for me to see it let me just give you a backstory to this bag i googled bow luxury bags on google this popped up and it was on sale but then i waited for black friday sales and i've never bought loffler randall before i know a lot of brides get loffler randall but i don't know this certain bag just was screaming me it definitely is very me right now it's like giving sheshire cat and victoria's secret at the same time let me get the chain out so this is what she looks like. So she's like pink and cream stripes and a bow with a gold strap. And she's a really good size. Like I feel like my phone's gonna fit in here. My vlog camera's gonna fit in here. Makeup's gonna fit in here. And it's been a while since I got a bag that could fit that type of stuff. I feel like I'm always carrying a mini anymore. And access to the inside is so easy. You just go like that. And I don't know if you can see, but it's like a really like goldish cream color on the inside that's satin. And here's the dust bag. I love just dabbling in different brands and just seeing what they're all about. And I'm really impressed with the quality of this bag. So the next item I want to unbox for this luxury haul is the luxury advent calendar of choice this year. Um, so I saw this heavily advertised on Instagram and I was like, how could I not? Every brand of choice for the advent calendar is Latteray. How cute is this advent calendar? Hopefully I'm not disappointed the way I was with Chanel. I think this is gonna be a very promising advent calendar. Just look at the packaging. Like it's so glittery but in this video i'm gonna unbox day one through 25 and i'm gonna let you guys know if i think it's worth it so stay tuned for that so the next luxury items i want to show you are perfume and i just want to disclose because people say this to me on tiktok all the time when i'm promoting someone else's perfume and i have my own and people say like oh she's exposing that she doesn't use her own perfume i still i wear beautiful mess all the time where's beautiful mess where did i put her long story short even though i do wear beautiful mess i literally have her right here um i also 
for other perfumes and I feel like any other perfume CEO would say the same thing. You don't just stop wearing other perfumes just because you have your own. So I want to shout out Kayali Perfumes. I've actually been using these. <gasps> <laughs> really loving these perfumes. I've been wearing them for the last few days. They look like this. This is Juicy Apple. The packaging is very Christmassy. And then this is Vanilla 28. It's in like a rose gold packaging. Someone at the Shein pop-up smelled really good. I asked her what perfume she was wearing. She said Juicy Apple by Kaoli from Sephora. So obviously it led me into Sephora to smell this perfume. But then while I was there, I fell in love even more with another perfume. Go figure, it's called Vanilla. Honestly, I'm just glad I can get rid of these boxes now because every time I've been using these perfumes this week, I've been putting them back in their boxes just to show you the unboxing process, but whatever. Juicy Apple, Vanilla. As you can see, I've already used so much vanilla. Oh my gosh. They have this other perfume in the Kaoli collection called Yum. It's like pistachio gelato. And such a funny fact, and I'm not just saying this to product place myself because I'm not even running any beautiful mess sales this Gabma season because I have the clothing collection, but because I love my own perfume so much where it's like heavily pistachio, I just, I didn't like that version of a pistachio perfume. Here's the product placement. Beautiful mess, guys. <laughs> but yeah, for those of you asking, I'm not running any beautiful mess sales this Gapmas season, just for the Gapmas collection, like the robes, pillow. But yeah, Kaoli is like really well known for their pistachio gelato perfume. And also these, Kaoli has like a bunch of gourmand smelling perfumes and that's like my favorite category with perfume. I just want to smell like dessert, honestly. They're very expensive perfumes at Sephora and I got them on sale. So the top notes are vanilla accord and creamy jasmine. Middle notes are vanilla infusion, vanilla sir absolute, sir absolute, vanilla sir absolute, tonka bean accord. Base notes are vanilla orchid, tonka absolute, amber woods, musk and brown sugar. I don't know what it is, but I don't smell any of that. I just smell vanilla and like a musk, like just something sexy, like something gender neutral, but then you add like a crap ton of vanilla. So Google says juicy apple smells like crisp and juicy red apples, sweet berries, and fresh floral notes. If there's anything I can compare this fragrance to, it's pure seduction from Victoria's Secret or Love Spell. So this next brand is Erin Sun Solo. This is a brand, oops. Where did the tag go? This is a brand I've never shot from before, but the moment I came across one of the reels of what a bag looks like, I was just like absolutely blown away. I fell in love. I'm ready to see my bag. I'm like so excited right now. Oh my gosh. Look at this cute little cottage bag. It looks like a quilt. She's so beautiful. Oh my God. I love the fact that you can like hold it like a little bag, but you could also use this like satchel option. This right here is just giving like, you know, like when a chandelier has like fabric and it's all like, it's all like ruffled like this. That's what this reminds me of. I love that it's lined with fuzz. It's just so trendy and cute. I feel like it matches my house and it's like my favorite shade of pink. Like I'm not a girl that likes cool toned pink. I love like a peachy pink and that's what this is giving and there's bows on the pattern. The little tag is right here. I feel like my two new bags go together. Like don't they match? Wow. Look, I love how there's a bow here and then a bow on here. So without further ado, I'm, I think I'm going to change locations to open this latter A advent calendar because I think there's food from my understanding. I think there's food in here. So if I'm going to be munching, I can't be in my office. Okay, so I'm going to unbox the latter A advent calendar for you guys. I just need to get some footage of it real quick. It looks beautiful on this table. Oh my gosh, it opens and the bow stays on. I wish I knew this in the other room. So you open it and oh, oh what? <laughs> what is this? <gasps> I'm gonna stand up while unboxing this because it's just, you know, a display. We're gonna start with day one. I'm gonna power through this because it truly does have all the days. You know, the Chanel calendar wasn't this complex, the one that I unboxed in 2021. But let's start with number one. 
So in number one, we have a cookie. This looks like a cookies and cream cookie. It's covered in white chocolate. I decided I don't want to eat these. I'm just gonna put them back because I do wanna enjoy these with Johnny. This is going back in, but I'm just showing you guys and I'll keep you posted on Instagram stories how I'm feeling about everything, like the flavors and all. So number two is down here, is these caramel candies. It's so cute. The inside of these boxes looks like a macaroon box. I love how there's two, so we can both enjoy these. Number three is right here. Number three is another cookie. This cookie is purple and white. It smells like a white chocolate berry. I have no idea what's in this box, guys. I haven't even read like a manual, but I feel like you guys love a raw reaction, so that is what I'm giving you. Number four is over here, and we have these gummies. I, I think they're like a tangerine, like citrusy gummy coated in sugar. There's also two of them. Then number five. Number five is a chocolate cookie, dark chocolate. I love how there's like an L on all these cookies. I don't know if you can see. I feel like these are very nicely packaged, like with the tissue paper and everything. Number six, ooh, I see a jar. Number six is honey in a little jar. I think that's so cute, like for tea. Seven. Ooh, this is a pretty cookie. This one is light blue. Again, I don't know these flavors. I feel like all the vanilla ones are the same flavor. Honestly, I think they're all white chocolate, but then I think the color changes on the back. I feel like there's vanilla and chocolate ones since I unboxed like a dark chocolate one. Where's number eight? I'm gonna have abs from bending over. <laughs> oh my God, that's what she said. And in here we have, what is this? You know what guys? I know there's two in here, but I'm gonna open one for the sake of the video because we don't know what this is. I can't even figure it out online. Oh my gosh! That's what this is. I see this like in the pastry case on display when you walk in. I feel like there's peanuts in it. It looks vanilla. Nine. Number nine is another white chocolate cookie with like a green color. I wonder if this one's like pistachio or anything unique. Number 10 is more of these fun little candies. I don't know if they're the same flavor. 11. I love how all the days have like the same size box. It's this like tangerine colored cookie with the white chocolate. Like it's $150 for like a few cookies. Let's see. There's 12, right here. So we got some marshmallow. This is so cute. It's literally giving the land of sweets, nutcracker vibes, how pretty. I kind of want to do like an ASMR, like unboxing of this, like where I'm just opening it and you can hear the sounds. A milk chocolate cookie. We opened the dark chocolate earlier on. 14. Ooh, there's like chocolate sticks in here. Should I bite one? Is this like chocolate covered licorice? I don't know what that is. 15. This is my favorite. A pink cookie. 16. There's another thing of that butter stuff. It looks like butter, but it's really like a nougat, whatever that is. I've never had that at Lottery before, but I've seen them in the window, the display case. Marie Antoinette would have this for sure if she got a luxury advent calendar. Number 17 is more marshmallows. This is fun to do in the mornings in December because I feel like you get like a nice little treat with your tea. 
17, 18, where's 18? 18 is, is this more honey? This is apricot jam. Cute for toast. 19. More nougats, but they're pink this time. Cute. 20. Caramel candies. Mmm. This would be really yummy, like melted into a tea, I feel like. You know what I mean? 21. More sticks. Just like a bunch of sticks, like four of them. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of chocolate in here. Look at that. Wow. This is like, what, Santa's boot, belly? A stick. A winter hat. I feel like they're getting better and better. Oh, we got a big lump of what? Manon lace, glacé, Maron glace. I think that's a cookie. Maron glace. I thought it was gonna be a macaroon, but you know what? Number twenty-four. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Wait, is there twenty-five? Maybe I'm making a big deal for twenty-four. No, it goes up to 24. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Ornaments or garlands. This is cute. This is a really cute advent calendar. I have to say, I'm kind of sad I don't have macaroons, but obviously those would like go bad. But this is just so cute. Oh my gosh. So it's reversible, it's pistachio and pink, my like two favorite colors to decorate with. I wanna leave this on display here in the tea room. That's really cute. I feel like this whole advent calendar was so creative. Do I think it was worth $150? I feel like it's like super festive and the creative behind this was genius. I don't think this was worth $150. I feel like for a few chocolates, some jams, paper garland, what else is in here? Marshmallows. I feel like that's all of value because Latter Day isn't cheap, but I feel like if anything, I feel like at most $75, not $150. I love it and I feel like it makes a great Christmas present and it's gonna go so nicely in my tea room. You guys know my whole house is like inspired by Latter Day, so I had to get my hands on this. Um, let me know in the comments down below how do you guys feel about this advent calendar. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next Gatmas vlog.